The horrifying stories of residential school abuse are being told and are being heard at truth and reconciliation hearings up and down Vancouver Island. The hearings began in Duncan today, and that is where many survivors of the Cooper Island residential school still live, and their memories and the wounds are still raw. They shared them today, traumatic memories of being taken away from their homes and forced to live at the school where they were physically and sexually abused. CTV's Scott Cunningham reports. It was scary to encounter his sick actions. His is a legacy of pain. Today, survivors of the Cooper Island Residential School dig deep into their memories, uncovering stories that are hard to hear and even harder to tell. His actions of sex abuse went on for the duration of the school year, and he made nightly visits to me. The raw power of the abuse he suffered grips everyone in the room. And it gets worse as the teacher who brutalized him turned his attention to his little brother. But my brother would not cooperate. Instead, he ran to the window. And he jumped out of it. The Cowichan tribes hold an unwelcome distinction, home to the largest number of residential school survivors in the province. One of them is the chief. What happened to you in this school? Well, there was uh, sexual abuse and there was physical abuse as well as verbal abuse. So I, I went through the whole gamut of abuses. A large and proud First Nation remembered together today. Many hoping the entire country can join in their pain and in their healing. Every heartbreaking story is captured in time as the commission will create a detailed record of a dark chapter Canadians must acknowledge. We need to understand why this happened so that we can take proper stock of it and make a collective decision that it cannot happen anymore in our country because this is not the Canada we say we are. Duncan is the fourth stop on the truth tour before a large regional event brings each story, each troubling memory to Victoria next month. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Duncan.